We know how much one heat win, and especially one like that in round two, can mean to a world title. Back out into the lineup now, Ian Guevara up, serving against Michelle Perez, and the Brazilian goofy foot up. Serving with a lot of speed on this one. A tricky wave to read, plenty of foam on the face, no dramas though, as Ian banks it up over the foam to finish. Uh, didn't get, didn't quite get the finish that he would have uh, fully liked there. We know at the very end of those rides, you want to complete it. It is dry reef there, but overall, you want to see the numbers elevate. It means completing that ride on the right. Look here at the paddle inside position. Had to look over his shoulder and takes it. So again, that position battle, looking deeper and getting this ride. I mean, it had the right size, but it had a ton of foam on the face, so a very difficult way to ride. And then there, the complete completion not there, cleaner on the face, and a lot more speed carried through his maneuvers. You see, again, he just unleashes that first section, and then gets the combination of major moves and finishes the so three solid turns on that outside section. You'd expect to be in that good range. So good start for Michel Barrez against Ian Goval. He's uh, the breakout front, but he can transition over the box with no worries. Back to live action there for a moment, Ian Goval, with just that single turn on the outside. But the signs were there for Michel. Michel having a look at this one. So using his priority for this wave, looking for a backup number, just trying to apply some heat to the Brazilian. Chipping away at this wave not doing too much for him at this point in time but he still might be able to finish it off strong and get himself some kind of number he's going to look to bring it right through over the shelf on the inside just under 17 minutes to go Ian Gabea was looking for a 3.34 but it looks like he'll be chasing something a little larger than that now for a 3.34 now being a lot bigger it's so important to back up a good solid score and that's what Michelle has done here you know this wave obviously flattening out he did well to Kind of get some maneuvers done, but mostly cutbacks, you know, except for that finish move there. So you'd expect this number to be probably uh, in the lower range, you know, maybe underneath the fair range. Like And Strider, the local crowd, eating it up and also loving the opportunity to greet some of the big names in the sport. Yeah, definitely down down here at the main main site here at Main Break. It's one of the benefits that everybody gets to come down and actually see the surfers as they walk right by, literally in arm's length. So if you try to get by without signing something, they're going to grab you. And even a bit challenging to kind of look at in you know from from history and kind of put them at, at who he surfs like. It's so unique. Live action here, Ian Gabeira up once again. Not committing to that inside section, seven and a half minutes to go. He is looking for a 5.64 to make the jump up into the lead. What's good about that too is that you can kind of steer yourself away from uh, any of the results and you can watch it like it's live. I like it. There's not really any other way to kind of creep out into the lineup. Some of the spots uh, like bells, some people would paddle out from the beach, some people would walk around the point here. You're paddling out with your rival as we see live action out the back. Michelle Perez grabbing the rail, trying to find some cover on the left. Didn't get the exit though. Actually, that was Ian Gabea, sorry. And here's Michelle looking at the right. Good looking wave here. He gets some time in the tube out onto the open face now. Big carve. Up into the pocket again. Michelle looking super sharp. He's got a good read on this wave where the others seem to struggle to find that rhythm. And that maneuver choice, he just seems to pick the right turn for the right section, and that's going to get rid of the 2.97 for him. Well, we almost saw just two barrels back to back. The ability to get through it. This one for Michelle, not very long, not very deep, but he does make up for it with the surfing done afterwards. You know, beautiful flow once again, good variety. He'll add to that 7.33. Got a set wave rolling in here at the moment. Ian's got that priority. He's going to use it. He's chasing at 9.49 now. 6.83 dropping for Michel Perez. Strong first turn from the Brazilian. Moving through to the inside now. Tries to get a vertical approach. Hits a lump of foam. As a result, has to go to a float and can't stick the tail drop landing. Again, nice vertical first section here. So he goes at it. 
Beautiful hooking snap. At this point, it flattens out, so he has to go to a cutback carve, loses a bit of flow, and then right there, a little dig, which then made him had to go to this float section, which he wasn't really necessarily anticipating, and then the tail tap to land and goes down. Ticking by here. This high-pressure second round heat for Michelle Berez and Ian Gavea. Ian trying to avoid a third straight 25th place. Michelle Berez, he wants to get himself into the third round and keep his chances alive for a shot at the Jeep Leaders jersey at the completion of this contest. The Hooter sounding and a very strong performance for the Tahitian. A 7.33 and a 6.83. He's marching on through. Another big heat just around the corner. Frederico Marais taking on Michael February.